There are thousands of people who have been displaced as a result of the war in Georgia. Tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands, if you believe reports. Among the unfortunate civilians caught in the crossfire in this conflict, a 12-year-old girl outside, from outside San Francisco, Amanda Kokoyeva, was in South Ossetia for a month and a half long visit with her relatives. She was with mem family members in a cafe, and all of a sudden, bombs were falling outside. A 12-year-old girl. She spent the night in her uncle's basement. She was able to flee to Russia, flee to the north, catch a flight home from Moscow. With us now, Amanda Kokoyeva and her aunt Laura, live with us from our San Francisco bureau. It's great to see you. Welcome home. Thank you. I cannot even imagine sitting in a cafe and bombs start falling. Uh, I mean, I've been to wars where that happens, but when you were there, there wasn't really a war happening. It started when you were there. Describe for us what that was yes. like. Um, it was really scary. I didn't know what was happening. Um, we were just sitting normally, and everybody from outside started running in, and it was just so scary. Where did you go? What did you do? Um, my, we called my uncle on the restaurant house phone because we, our cell phones weren't working. And so we called him and he came to pick us up and drove us to his house. We ended up spending the night in the basement. Were there bombs falling all the while? Um, I didn't see any. Um, but before I say anything else, I just want to say that I was running from Georgian troops bombing our city, not Russian troops. I want to say thank you to the Russian troops that were helping us out. Where is your family <laughs> now and how are they? Um, some of them are, some of my cousins, aunts and uncles are in North Ossetia right now and they are um, safe. But. Um, my grandma and some of my aunts and uncles are still back there and I don't know, we don't have any contact with them. I don't know if they're alive or anything. Well, I know your aunt is with you. This, this, I cannot even imagine. I mean, a 12, seeing a 12 year old go through all of this, it must have been horrifying. Yeah, it is, was horrifying for all of us. And um, main thing I wanted to say on the television, I want you to know to whom to blame or, or, or in this conflict. Uh, that's uh, Mr. Saakashvili who started this war and Mr. Saakashvili who is aggressor and who, who, who in two days uh, my, my people, Ossetian people, were killed and were under bombed and 2,000 people were killed in I, one day I, I, and I, that's what I am against. I would never and, cut you uh, off. Unfortunately, it, a commercial break will take us there in four seconds whether we like yeah, it or not. I, I'll bring I know you back that after you don't, you don't we'll want right to back. hear that. I'll be right yeah. back with you. Thank Stay, you. Stay by. Back with us from San Francisco. This program ends in less than a minute, but I want to give you 30 seconds to complete your thought. So go ahead. Uh, yes, my uh, my house is burned in South Ossetia where I lived, uh, and uh, we we can blame only one person and Georgian government. I'm not blaming Georgian Georgian people. I'm blaming Georgian government, and he has to resign. Well, and uh, well, that's certainly what the Russians want. If I had more time, you would get it. But I have but five seconds. Thank you both. The young girl's a hero in San Francisco, and understandably. There are gray areas in war.